the 6 Creed is the smaller brother of the 6.5 Creed more, and it is known as a barrel burner. The benefit of that is that all of 2020, I was paying 2019 prices for this ammo. 2021 rolled around, and unfortunately I am in there with everybody else paying double what I used to pay. And that increase has led me to a decision on this barrel, the 6mm Creedmoor barrel that you see in front of you. It is a green mountain blank that was chambered by Keystone Accuracy. It is a prefit, a shoulder prefit for this M Impact 737 action. What that means is that the gunsmith does not need to see your action because your action is the same as every other 737 that has been made. And you can just chamber it at a shop, send it to your house, you install it at home, and you're good to go. Having said that, mine was the first time I did something like this and it had space just fine and it's been shooting just fine ever since a CPA put it on, did some gunsmithing on it. Now, the thing about this barrel is that it's the cheaper option of the two offered by Keystone. The Green Mountain is a bun rifle barrel. The Krieger that they offer is a cut rifle. There is about a $200 difference between these two barrels. And back in the day, they had a section on their website explaining the differences between these two barrels. At that time, they said, what well, you're giving up with the Green Mountain is barrel life. And there is no accuracy difference between the two barrels. Sounds good to me. I emailed them, asked them, six feet more, what can I expect? Barrel life. They told me right around 600 rounds. That seems extremely low, but at that time I wasn't really sure what I wanted in the barrel, how long it should it be, 24, 22, 26, what profile, even what chambering. So I'm getting the cheapest prefit that I can find. And I know it'll burn out quickly, but I'm okay with that because that just means I can move on to what I want to move on to quicker. So if I made a mistake with this barrel, it was gonna be a short-lived mistake. So at the range, early on, Hornady 108 was shooting half MOA, 0 0.523, 524, 620, 59. Horny Blacks were 0 0.72, even Barnes 112s were 0 0.7. Here we had an inch for Barnes, didn't like that too much. Then again, and this is a CPA, it's not very good at shooting, shooting this. I had to switch ammo because it was a rebate. One federal gold medal match, 107s. One hole, I don't have it measured. One hole, and these are also pretty good, these two. So I was very happy. I was keeping track of every round I fired what the circumstances were and all that stuff. Most of the rounds were fired in PRS type events. You're shooting 10 rounds in 90 seconds. So the barrel doesn't have time to cool down. So it's, for me, this is as much abuse as I put on the gun. So I kept shooting it and I was afraid of cleaning the gun. So I just didn't for its entire life until the very end. I was afraid that if I shoot it, then I might have to put 10, 20 rounds through it to kind of get the barrel back into it again. And I was afraid if I'm shooting, cleaning it every 200 rounds, I do that three times, I might cut 10% of my barrel life just getting used to shooting after cleaning it. So I, plus you hear all these horror stories of people messing up their barrel, cleaning it, and I just decided not to do it. I would shoot groups every once in a while. I would chrono every once in a while. Everything was looking fine. There was no, you know, there was no reason for me to clean the barrel. So then I, uh, the last PRS match, PRS style match I shot with it, I ended the match with right around 860 rounds through the gun, through this barrel. Everything was going fine. I was obviously you know, living on borrowed time here, 260 rounds over what I was promised. We did a friendly train up where I shot 60 rounds. So I was at 920, but at that point I started seeing some weird things and I just decided, you know what, let me chrono 
some rounds and see what's going on. I was expecting if the barrel was done for the velocity to drop, but it actually increased. So I went from about 3050 to 3150. So unusual, had me concerned a little bit. What I thought might be happening was maybe carbon ring was increasing the pressures and that could be a safety issue. So at that point I decided, you know what, time to clean it. The patches were disgusting, um, ton of copper in the barrel, but I scrubbed it pretty good. At this point, you know, I wasn't afraid of damaging anything, but I, I took care of it, cleaned it well, and I went to shoot it again. Not expecting anything great, and it really wasn't. I was getting one MOA pretty consistently. And like I said before, now at this point, I'm paying two, 250 around, and I just did not want to chase it, keep shooting it more. Maybe I was off or whatever, maybe just needed some more time. I got 50% more barrel light than I expected. And that was that, I was happy with it. Went home and ordered another barrel. Um, I decided to go with the bar line now, 26 inch. I, I was okay with something a little bit longer, more expensive because I knew six creed is something that I'm comfortable shooting and it works for me. So, you know, overall the barrel overperformed what I was promised. The accuracy results considering who's pulling the trigger were fantastic. Um, I've never reloaded and this was a half MOA gun. So that's great. Um, the service from Keystone was great. This was at a time when some companies had months long backlogs. Um, I think I got this thing in like two weeks. They told me four and I remember just being surprised that it showed up already. Um, and overall, it just, the barrel I think is a great option if you're on a budget or if you're shooting something like a 308, 223 that's not a barrel burner or if you're just doing this for a hunting rifle. I think if I'm ever building a trainer and I need a prefit and then go like 308, I think this is the barrel I'll be going with. It's hard to be, I think, at that price. It's so much cheaper than anything else you're going to find. The accuracy is there and you're going to have a hard time burning it out with some of those other calibers. So all in all, go check out Keystone Accuracy. Uh, they have no idea who I am, but go say hi anyway. And uh, I think you'll be happy happy with their products. They do offer um, AR barrels as well. So if you're looking for something like that that's hard to find right now, that might be a good place, good place to go visit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and tune in for some more next time.